So I'm going to uh, model a mechanism for generating the curve known as Dürer's shell, first examined in the works of the celebrated artist Albrecht Dürer. Um, and of course, I'll use GX Web to do my modeling. So this one has um, an auxiliary line at 45 degrees to the axis. So here's a point and it's going to be a distance A along the X axis there. So we'll do that and then we'll create another uh, an auxiliary line here. But most of our auxiliary lines have been at 90 degrees, but this one is going to be at 45 degrees. So we'll specify its angle there to be pi by four. And uh, now we're going to have um, a couple of uh, um, sliders here. There's going to be uh, one coming along here, up and sliding along that 45 degree uh, line, and another coming out this way um, here. So this is going to be 90 degrees, um, as well as this. And we have um, a line which is going to go through both of those. So we'll use the incidence constraint to make that happen. Incident there and incident there. And now the distance from B to F is going to be B and also the distance from B to E. Yeah, it's going to be B. And now the curve is going to be as, as one of these guys wants, it wanders along um, here. So we're going to, uh, it wanders along the axis. So let's constrain the location of B uh, to parametric equation t along that axis. So we've got something uh, for to our locus to work on. Um, so that we want the locus both of f and of e. So we'll select one and construct its locus. Uh, t varies and construct the other. The t varies. Well, let's make t vary a little bit more. Um, so let's make that go maybe from minus five um, to five. And we can see uh, what Dürer's uh, shell curve looks like. Um, we can uh, play with the parameters to get different uh, forms of it. There's a form that looks a bit like um, what's in the book. And let's have a look at, at its equation. Uh, so these are two different curves as far as we constructed them. We're just jumping to the conclusion they're going to have the same um, the same equation. Let's just have a look. And um, yes, indeed, we can take an examination of those two and uh, tell what they have. In fact, got the same equation, um, even though it's quite long. <laughs>